Are you a parent or student who's trying to learn how to use Zoom for the first time? We know that adjusting to go online and learning new technology may be something that's challenging to some of you, and that's why we decided to help. In this video, I'm going to show you how to join a Zoom meeting on a laptop. Let's talk about what is Zoom, alright? For those of you who are new to it, Zoom is just a simple tool that allows you to join a class or a meeting online, which is really helpful during this COVID period. In times of uncertainty, at least we still get to connect with one another. Now just let me answer some quick questions before we start. In case you're wondering what equipment you'll need for Zoom, you either need a computer, a mobile device, or a phone. Although it's not a must to have a webcam, you do need to have some speakers and a working microphone, okay? Is Zoom free? Thankfully, it is free to use if you're joining a meeting, so you don't need to worry about any extra costs. Do you need a Zoom account to join a Zoom meeting? You can actually access Zoom directly through a link, so you don't really need to have an account to use it. And now that we're done with these questions, let's get started. If your teacher is using Zoom, you would have probably received two things by now. A link to the Zoom meeting and the meeting ID. Alright? To begin, go ahead and click on the link that you are given. And this takes you to a Zoom page where you'll be asked whether you want to open the Zoom app. Click on the button Open Zoom, and after some time, you'll be able to see a screen like this if you have a webcam. And if you don't, you see a black screen. Now what happens if you don't see the screen appearing? If that happens, you can try to download the app directly, and this should fix it. Now, at the Video Preview window, you see two buttons. One that says Join with Video, and the other that says Join without Video. So what this is asking is whether you like everyone in your class to see your face on the webcam. Here, I'm going to click Join with Video, okay? But you can choose either one of them. So once you're done with this, you see a screen with two other buttons. Join with Computer Audio and Test System and Microphone. Click Join with Microphone Audio and congrats! You have just successfully joined the class. Next, we are going to look at the exciting part. What exactly can you do with Zoom? Once you have joined the class, your screen should look like this. We will start with the left side of the screen, alright? Do you see two buttons on the bottom left of your screen? We have one button with the picture of a microphone, and this turns your mic on or off. If the mic is on, everyone can hear what you say and what goes on around you. If you don't want that to happen, you can always switch it off and turn it back on when you have something to say. Alright? The next button that you see over here with the word Start Video controls what you want others to see. If this is on, everyone in class can see you and what goes on around you, okay? And if this is off, they'll see a black screen. Now, here's a cool little trick that you can play with. If you have your webcam on and you want to change or hide your background, you can click on this little arrow beside the video button and this opens up a menu, okay? Let's see what happens when you click Choose a virtual background. When you do that, a video will pop out to ask you whether you want to download the Smart Virtual Background Package. Click on Download, and ta-da! You have a beautiful background behind you, and you can change it as you like. Now that you're all set, let's look at the main menu in the center and see how we can start interacting, okay? There are six buttons in the middle. You're probably not going to need all of them, so I'll just go through the main things that you need to know. The first button allows you to invite more friends, but a teacher would have probably done it. So let's skip that. When you first join your class, I'm sure you'll be curious to know how many other people that are in the same class and who else is online, correct? So to see everyone in the class, you can click on the participants button. And this brings up a panel on the side with all the names of the people in your class. If you move your mouse towards the names, you'll notice two buttons appearing beside each name. The microphone button is for muting and unmuting yourself, depending on whether you want to be heard. And the other more button lets you change your name if you want to. Since we know that we are all going to be IT service students after watching this video, I'm going to change my name into that. At the bottom of the panel, you see a button that says, raise your hand. What does this do? If you click on this button, your teacher will see a hand appearing on the screen and they'll know that you need some help. If you change your mind and figure out the answer yourself later on, don't worry, okay? Just click on the button again that now says lower hand and your hand will disappear. If you like this, 
You'll be happy to know that you can also react to what your teacher says or do with two more functions. So going back to the main menu that we have over here, if you click on the reaction button, you can clap or give a thumbs up to anyone during your lesson. Okay? Next, let's look at how to talk in class. There's a strange way to say it, right? Click on the chat button. This brings up a group chat window and you can choose who you want to talk to. To do that, all you need to do is to click on the blue button over here and choose whether you want to talk to everyone in class or send your message to a specific person, okay? Now let's look at the last button that's going to come in handy. And that's the screen share button. So if your teacher needs you to do some writing or show some working, you can click on the screen share button. When you do that, a window will pop up showing you some options. So the main thing that you want to know is the whiteboard. Click on the whiteboard and a big screen will appear along with text, draw, eraser, undo, clear, and some more other tools. So I'm going to go through some of the main things that you can do. You can click on the text to type using your keyboard, but if you need to draw a picture or prefer to use your handwriting, you can click on draw, all right? Although you can draw with your mouse, this actually works better if you have a stylus or a pen. The razor button is quite straightforward and the undo button comes in handy if you make a mistake and want to undo one step. If you want to get rid of everything you see on the whiteboard, you won't actually press the undo many times. But instead, choose clear and everything will disappear. And that's it. That's everything you need to know about using Zoom. We hope that...